Houston Real Estate Radio starts right now. to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm Jana Register, and today I have got a great guest on the show, Gary Parr. He is with Home Energy Consultants, and it's always great to have you on the show. We've had you on before, and what I really like is that uh, you do a great job for people who are looking to sell their current homes or remodel their current homes, because we've got a lot of homeowners out there who are thinking about selling. You know, we have low inventory on the market right, right now. We need more sellers, and there are a lot of sellers who are saying, well, I'll, I'll sell, but I need to do this this, this, and this first. And a lot of that is energy efficient stuff, not just for cosmetic reasons, but for energy efficiency because they know they're competing with these new homes that have all these upgraded or, or all these new features that, that are so um, eco-friendly. They're, they're just really green products that and, and um, energy efficient and uh, with the utility bills as high as right. they are, especially during the summer here yeah. in Houston, you need that. Yeah, I love the concept of being able to tie the aesthetics to the energy efficiency, and you just really did that just then. You said, look, you know, you can, you know, improve the home's energy efficiency, you can make the home look better, and you can sell the home. Mm -hmm. Well, energy efficiency is going to definitely sell the home yeah. because, you know, people don't want these high bills, you know, and they're trying to reduce costs. And it's the only way you can keep, compete with new construction now. Right. And the other thing, I mean, and you're, and you're exactly correct there. So they're building these new construction homes so energy efficient. Mm -hmm. You know, and so if you're going to remodel a home, you know, you're going to take something you're trying to get on the market and sell, you know, one of the things you really want to consider is doing the energy improvements. But the key to that is, and from the energy, home energy consulting business here, mm -hmm. the key is doing the energy audit. It's really so important. It actually And puts, you do that. Yeah, That's what your that. company yes, does. Yes, exactly. Okay. We do the testing and the energy audit. So we actually are identifying how that house is performing. And then we're saying, this is what you need to do. This is going to make the greatest impact to you if you do it. And sometimes the order in which you do things really makes a difference. And each house is kind of independent because it's really a systems approach to the whole concept of energy efficiency. Okay. When you say order, what, are you, what do you mean? Yeah. Existing home. Let's say mm -hmm. that someone is, uh, uh, they come in and they say, you know, I'd like to have new windows in the house. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to improve the energy efficiency of the home, but what it could do as well is it could uh, take and make the air conditioning system oversized. So if it's oversized, now it's not going to produce the comfort, and so now you kind of end up getting into this uh, uh, situation where you, know, you did one thing that you thought was going to be really good, and you end up costing yourself. I've actually had calls hmm. before where okay. somebody has that scenario and they mm -hmm. did that and they said, oh my goodness, I thought my energy bills would go down. And what they did is they actually went up. Really? Yes. Yes. The air conditioning system was oversized because they improved the efficiency of the building envelope uh -huh. by putting new windows in. The air conditioning system was oversized. It short cycled. And when it short cycles, it comes on and off. It never really gets to the proper temperature to cool property. And every time that compressor comes on and off, it's using the most energy. Wow. Yeah. I bet most people don't know that. That's interesting. So what is the, the process then? What should people be doing? Right. Okay. So an energy audit. Very, very important. You need a plan. Okay. It would be like building a new house and not having a plan at all in place. Okay. So we want an energy plan in place. So you do the energy audit. You We do the blower door testing. We do the infrared scan testing. We're looking for improperly placed insulation, air leakage, and things of that nature. Uh, the duct uh, sealing, or you, you look into how much uh, uh, duct leakage you have. Okay. So we're doing a duct blaster test. And then, mm -hmm. of course, either sealing the duct systems or replacing them would be the, uh, the measure to do there to improve the efficiency. And we take all the different appliances, including the air conditioning systems, and we put them into a modeling program. And that modeling program then replicates what we have, and then it tells you what you're going to get if you actually make those improvements. So we can actually model the house. And the, the example I like to use with that is everybody watches the news and they see the weather. They see all the modeling programs and things for the hurricanes, mm -hmm. you know, and how they, they differ a little bit right, in, their, in right. their nature. But most of the time they have a very small range or a path that they're mm -hmm. falling, they're all pretty close to each other. Mm -hmm. We can do exactly the same thing with our modeling software from what the home's doing now and then 
what those measures are going to do to the home and how much energy wow. efficiency improvements we're going to make. Technology is just great. Okay? Yeah, it is. And, and it's improved in every industry. So, right. you know, if you're not in the home industry, you don't know all these little things that have improved, but it really has, being at the home show, um, it, we're at a home show now, actually, and, and being at a home show, what you see is that um, all the products have come so have just come so far. I mean, everything. It's not. It's not your mama's house. No. It's not, not your mama's house anymore. It's just completely different, it and it, it can be good and bad. It has good good yes. points and bad points. The great thing is the energy efficiency. We've come yeah. a long way with that. Come a long way with energy, and, and it's still an education process. Okay, I do. The education has to occur every single day mm -hmm. in this because people don't know that they don't. You know, they have no idea that the house is a system. Mm -hmm. They think the house is the house, the air conditioning system is the air conditioning yeah. system, the insulation is the insulation, the ventilation is the ventilation. But really all these things work together to make that home comfortable, dust-free, uh, and energy efficient. You know. And One thing, um, you see a lot of ads out there for um, duct cleaning mm -hmm. on air conditioning mm -hmm. systems. Yep. Does that improve energy efficiency or is that just a, a thing that helps with allergies? And yeah. uh, I personally have never been a fan of duct cleaning because I think the majority of companies that do that probably really um, aren't trained and aren't, if they're not licensed by having an air conditioning license, they really mm -hmm. can't take things apart okay. legally. So you almost oh, have to. Oh, so they're to, going and cleaning instead yeah, of replacing. Yeah, and, and, and so some, and really your ducts don't need to be cleaned, okay? Uh, I tell people all the time if you're building a new house, maybe you want to get your duct cleaned right after you built the house because of all the dust and things that may occur mm -hmm. during the building process. But in an existing home, if you've got good filtration in place and it's properly designed and sized, it's going to keep the equipment clean and, and hence keep the ductwork clean as well. Okay. So sometimes duct cleaning is kind of a um, something that's talked about. It's kind of an add-on sale for companies. And, mm -hmm. and I'm not a personal, personally really strong believer in, in that that really does a whole lot. Okay. Very interesting. All right. So um, the audit process, we kind of talked about that. You come in and you check all these different systems. What's the next step? You said you, yeah. you kind of educate and consult sure. them. We do. And a lot of that uh, audit process is an education process for the consumer. You know, the auditor that goes in, he's actually, you know, they're there. They're seeing what's going on. One of the really cool things about the blower door, testing to see where the infiltration in the home is coming from, it basically pressurizes or depressurizes. We could do it in either manner. It really doesn't matter. But what we see here is where is the air coming from and how much of that air is coming in that doesn't belong there. Okay. Because if you think about it, you condition the air in the house. You don't want it leaking out. Right. You just pay to condition it, right? Right. So uh, you really want to make that building envelope or the exterior walls and wherever your your building envelope is. And most of the time, it's a floor of the attic. You want make that sure sealed. Make sure it's sealed up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Air sealed. Okay. And then so so we're letting them see this. They see where it's coming from. They in the door switch plates. You see all this air movement through there, and you can feel it. Yeah. And you can see it because we well, can some actually, houses you can stand in front of the window and feel it coming. Yeah, in. without any <laughs> pressurization right. by equipment testing. <laughs> right. You know? And so that testing is done at what, what we call 50 pascals. So it's basically a, a fixed number. We test at that number so that all testing is done at 50 pascals. And so we get uh, results from that. So okay. uh, a little technical there. But anyway, and then the IR scan, that's really always interesting for people to look at that because they can see the difference in heat and cool when we use this infrared, oh, the infrared. camera. Yeah, okay. exactly. So it's uh, really nice to be able to show them if there are imperfections and where they're at and then how we can uh, go through the process of making those improvements.